Pop Science from NPR Science Friday and me, Lynn Burdell. We're going to talk about sound. We're going to hear it, we're going to feel it, and we're going to see it. What? That's right. Sound is everywhere, and every single sound you hear is all about vibrations. Vibrations! You're actually vibrating your vocal cords. You're vibrating your vocal cords. Ah! Huh? And when you vibrate your vocal cords, you're actually vibrating the air molecules all around you, and they're bumping into each other. It's kind of like dominoes. Or marbles. Fascinating. And then the molecules are pumping around, they bump into your ears, they actually trigger little tiny hairs and teeny tiny bones, teeny tiny little eardrums, and they send messages to your brain that translates it as sound. Go. What? You can feel the vibrations. Try it. Put your finger on your throat the next time you talk. Can you feel it? I can feel it. Can you feel it? is a bowl, some plastic wrap, a rubber band, and some rice. Cool. Okay, here's what you do. You take your plastic wrap, you get a square of it, and you put it over the opening of your bowl, because you're going to make a kind of a drum. You want to make the plastic wrap as tight as you can make it. Get out all the wrinkles. Wrinkles gone. And then you're going to, if you need to, Take a rubber band and stretch it across the opening of your bowl to hold everything in place. Okay. Okay, then you take some rice and you put a bunch on the surface of the drum. Then you make a sound at your bowl. Uh... That's really cool. I was vibrating my vocal cords, blah, 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 vibrating the air molecules around me. They were bouncing against the drum and making the rice dance. That's exactly how your eardrum works. So, wait, wh what? What? So the sound waves are coming out of your mouth and bouncing off the plastic and making the rice dance. Isn't that cool? Try it! Try it at home! You've got the stuff laying around the kitchen anyway. You have a bowl, you probably have plastic wrap, and if you don't have dried rice, don't stop, don't let it stop you. You can use salt or sugar, or you can use Italian herbs, dried beans. Come on, try it. Try it! <laughs> it's easy. And check out my blog. I've got a ton of cool experiments of cool instruments that you can make with stuff that's hanging around the house, and you can play with vibrations and sound. Vibrations, man. Cool. See you next month. This is Lynn Brunel for NPR Science Friday's Tabletop Science. Try it!